she follows the feet because she knows those are home. And if I stop, she stops. Come on, dear. Get one, sweetheart. It's a good way to train her to come to my feet, basically, because I'm a little bit bigger than her. Hey, it can be. Because there's a lot of dangers out here in the bush. Come on, Bobby. You've got to be so careful because she's so tiny. The last thing you want to do is trip and stand on her. Come on, baby. I must give you an idea of her size. And as you see, she's got a black tip, the back of her tail, which shows us that she's no longer a dwarf, but a slender mongoose. Hey, gorgeous. Squeaky. Here goes. Come on, gorgeous. Let's go. Squeak. It's a question of her getting used to outside. Like now she'll do a stool or a pee outside. And for her to get to know her whereabouts. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Good girl. And to get used to where she's living. And as we found her, only a five minute walk from the house, there's far more chance of returning her to her natural environment. She's beginning to look like a real mongoose now. We reckon she's four weeks old. The slender apparently has red eyes which haven't developed yet in her. Now she looks like a mongoose. That's a mongoose look. If she was looking at a snake, it's probably how she'd look at it. She's talking now because it's food time. She always talks before food and she's always very lively. But it's best to exercise her before food because once she's eating, she wants to sleep, like all babies. And she often chases her tail. See her ears are forward now when we had her as a tiny one four weeks ago. They were flat to her head. <laughs> 